Are you ready for the most epic adventure ever? Next summer, Group VBS is taking kids on a ride they'll never forget. Us home and life that's forever. Us home and we stand together. Get on board the Rocky Railway. Your church will be on track at Sing and Play Express. With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right Get ready for high energy fun at Locomotion Games. Experience impactful Bible lessons and Bible adventures. You'll have amazing discoveries at Imagination Station. Take a glimpse into the world of five awesome kids who learned that Jesus' power pulls us through. The best part of summer is full steam ahead at Rocky Railway. Welcome to the Rocky Railway Virtual Vacation Bible Camp. My name is Conductor Megan and I'm excited to be riding the rails with you this month. We'll start every week off with some great songs and some great stories to help us discover the power of Jesus. This month, we're going to be imagining what it would be like to journey on a steam train through the mountains. A long, long time ago, before cars and planes, trains were the fastest way to travel. Do you know how a steam train works? It gets its power from a steam engine. They are kind of like a teapot that boils water, and when the water gets so hot, it turns into steam and it whistles. Inventors a long time ago learned how to convert steam into power. As a matter of fact, steam trains are so powerful, they can pull thousands of pounds up a giant mountains. This month, we're going to be discovering a different kind of power, the power of Jesus. Today, we're going to be looking at how Jesus' power can help us get through all things, especially when they are hard. I want to invite you to sing along with me with a new song about Jesus' power. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. we trust, we trust, we trust in you.
locomotive get so good at its job? I don't know. Training! <laughs> what do you call a locomotive with a cold? A uh, choo-choo train! <laughs> choo-choo! Get it? Miss Rachel, what is all this crazy railway wreck? What happened? I don't know, Miss Laura. So, do you maybe know somebody that can help us figure out how well, to fix this? See if someone works around this railway. Uh, do you hey, see hey, oh. over here. Hi. Yes, you come, 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 come here. here. Uh, Hi right there. How you doing? Hi. Do you work here? Oh, absolutely work here. I've been working on the railroad all the live long <laughs> day. You know. <laughs> Name's Cam. Cam Track. Nice Cam to meet you. Cam Track. I'm Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel. And nice I'm to meet you. Miss Laura. Miss Laura. Cam Track. With nice to meet you. With a name like that, you must be a really great engineer. Well, one of the best engineers this side of the Wild Wild Toes, tell you what, ask my mommy. <laughs> what can I do for you all this lovely day? Mr. Kim, look at all of this stuff. Look at this wreck. Do you know what happened? You, you know, unfortunately, what happened was this. Don't tell anyone, but I was working on the railroad all the live long way, and I had this massive, big, hump sneeze, oh. and all these crates of toys and video games just flew everywhere along with my boogie. So I just gotta say one thing uh -huh. real quick. I'm gonna fix this, and I apologize. Okay. Do not tell my supervisor. Oh. So if you okay. want mine, just please step back. I'm gonna get all these crates off of the railroad. Wait, wait, are you? Are you are you sure you can do this by yourself? <laughs> Ma'am, I know these sleeves are hiding these puppies, but I tell you what, I can lift <laughs> these things single-handedly if I had, but I'm gonna use two for safety precautions because oh, okay. of my union. Oh, All right, here we go. Oh. One, two, lift with the legs. Hold on one second. Come on a second. I just I forgot my Wheaties this morning, Miss <laughs> Rachel. So just, okay, Cam Track, give it another the, try. Okay, here we give go. it another try. Oh, my back just oh. went off the railroad oh. a little bit. This, oh. Oh, this is just way too hard. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't Cam, know. If I, I don't Cam, know if I can. You know, it's interesting you say that because today we are talking about how Jesus helps us do hard things. Ooh. So maybe we have to take a test okay. or we need to stand up to a bully. Yeah. We ask Jesus for some help. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Or maybe we need to take care of a loved one. Uh, and Jesus Wait, helps us do hard things. Oh my gosh. Oh. Miss Rachel, huh? what you gonna do that for? You know, I'm not strong enough to do it by myself. Oh, well, you know what, Cam? I'm so sorry, but None of us are able to do it by mm -hmm. ourselves. That's why we have Jesus to help us carry the heavy loads. Jesus, you say? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Well, I want him on my locomotive. He sounds like a spectacular guy. You are right. You know what? When we're done with all of this here, we're gonna come help you on that track, Cam. Well, you and Jesus, and you got yourself a deal. Thank you very much, Miss Rachel. You are welcome, Ms. Mr. Cam. Laura, good meeting you. I'll, <laughs> see I'll get you these later. cleared up, I promise. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have you ever had to do something that was hard? Sometimes we miss out on something fun because we're afraid it's too hard. Sometimes when I learn something new, like how to ride a bike or how to rollerblade, it can be hard. Sometimes when I have, a, have to learn new words or how to do a math problem at school, it can be hard. Other times when I have to share with my friends and I don't really want to, it can be hard. Can I share with you a scripture that helps me whenever I have something hard? It says, for I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. For I can do all things through Christ gives me strength. <laughs> there friends glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at rocky railway i'm ramsey a bighorn sheep um can you guess why <laughs> okay that was too easy check out these cool curvy horns god gave me ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds that's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies wow my horns have to be tough 
because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is! Wow, good! But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me. It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and keep my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Today we're talking about doing things that God tells us to do, even when they're hard. Once there was a man named Saul. Saul thought he was a good man because he didn't steal and he went to church every week. But Saul hated Jesus and he hated the Christians. As a matter of fact, he hated them so much that he sent loads of them to prison and even had others murdered. All the time he was doing this, he thought he was doing the right thing and helping God out. But we know God is the one who decides what is right and wrong. And although he loved Saul, he was not pleased with the things that Saul was doing. Instead, he wanted Saul to love his son Jesus and to love his people, the Christians. So one day when Saul was out on a journey to cause more trouble for the Christians, God sent a bright light down from the heaven, which was so bright that it blinded him and stopped him in his tracks. And then Saul heard a voice saying, Saul, why are you hurting me? Saul was trembling so much that all he managed to say was, who are you? A voice came back saying, I am Jesus, who you are hurting. Go to the city and you will be told what to do. Well, because Saul still didn't see, his friends had to lead him to the city. He was so scared he didn't eat or drink for three days. Meanwhile, God was talking to a Christian, a man called Ananias. He told Ananias to go to Saul and put his hands on him so that he would be healed. But Ananias was afraid because he knew that Saul wanted to hurt Christians and that he was afraid that Saul might want to hurt him. But God said, Go, I love Saul and have chosen him to take my message to lots of people. So even though it was hard, Ananias went and put his hands on Saul and Saul could see again. When Saul could see clearly again, he realized that the way he had been acting had been wrong. He had thought that Christians were God's enemies when all along they were God's friends. 
When Saul realized that he had been wrong, he said sorry to God for the way he had been, and he decided to change. And the reason Saul was able to change and follow Jesus was because of Ananias, who was willing to listen to God, even when it was hard. Hi, I'm Miss Manners, and I want to introduce you to a real kid named Dominic. Dominic loves karate. Do you know what karate is? It is a sport that focuses on self-control while it strengthens your mind and body. Karate also involves special kicks and movements that might seem hard to do. Dominic is going to tell you how karate has taught him a very important lesson about trusting in Jesus' power to help him do hard things. Yeah. My name is Dominic and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm gonna break this board. It's an obstacle way, way and let me push through it. And ha! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid it wasn't going to pass, and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm going to pass this, and I didn't. I failed, and I failed, and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test, and I said, this isn't going to be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just going to pray to him today. I am going to pass the test tomorrow. And I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13, it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three-day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Remember, our theme for this week is Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. Now, let's all stand up and sing together our final song about Jesus' power. <laughs> 